What is up everybody? My name is Braden. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Rocket Vlogs. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a lesson today here. I love building rockets old school style with cardboard and plywood and reinforcing things with fiberglass and getting some composite working skills under your belt is always awesome and it's a great thing to have a hold of in high powered rocketry and it makes building big rockets very affordable. Cardboard stuff super cheap but you always see people reinforcing cardboard airframes with carbon fiber or fiberglass, but you often see people overlooking the couplers. And I can tell you that cardboard rockets going fast love to fold in half right at an unreinforced coupler. So of course, the obvious answer is to reinforce the coupler as well with some composite, which I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it. All you're going to need is your coupler, some fiberglass, a brush, and a balloon big enough to fill up your entire coupler. Okay, so here's all our components laid out and I do want to specify real quickly that I am using a leftover piece of the solar composite sleeve from the video I just made teaching guys how to fiberglass a rocket's airframe tubes with the sleeves instead of standard fiberglass cloth. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. After this one, it's in the top right corner, the little eye. Of course, you can do this with standard fiberglass cloth and I'm not sure how easy this is going to be. Um, we'll get to that in a second, but it is really simple to just cut a piece of cloth long enough to go the length of this, or you can do two if you're really worried about folding a rocket in half. And then you just gotta carefully get the cloth all laid out and wet it out in there and same thing. It's the same process except for you're adding unrolling the cloth instead of just doing the sleeve like we're about to do. So uh, as usual I'm using West Systems laminating epoxy with slow hardener but uh, you can use whatever your favorite laminating epoxy is and uh, just make sure you've got plenty of working time because if you've never done this before or you're doing a small coupler it can get very finicky very fast. You want to make sure you have plenty of times so you're not feeling rushed or frustrated to make sure you get everything where it needs to be but that's enough talking out of me. I'm going to mix up some West Systems epoxy and we're gonna start getting to work on this. So I'm gonna worry about getting it throughout the tube first and then I'll do the edges because I just don't want to uh, paint a bunch of epoxy onto my table. All right, my dad's helping. Um, this was his idea, and I test fit it before I had the epoxy in there. It was a really good idea. I was gonna try and like, hold the sleeve in there and try and get the balloon in it and blow it up and let the balloon expand the sleeve, which is asinine. Yeah, I just need to be able to see where it's going. Okay. Try and gently unfold it. It's all right if it touches it. It's just long enough for this to work too. So we're just gonna fold the edges back like that. Can you lift that up? Oh, is this a tight end be long enough? No. Too long. Right. Fine. I guess I could probably tape it too. Yeah, you can I already have the zip ties out. Plus I just bought these zip ties. Gotta put them to use. Alright, there you go ladies and gentlemen. It can be pretty finicky. Um, if you do what I do and don't get the balloon inflated the first time or don't get it in the right spot, then you might get epoxy in your mouth like I did. Don't do that. If you have a pump, probably use that instead. But yep, just make sure you get it to the point where the balloon is inflated, expanded all the way around the coupler. Um, I didn't take the time to fully wet out the cloth because obviously it's going to have plenty of compression against it. I do want to address something too. Um, you don't need anything between the glass and the balloon. It's latex. It's not going to stick to it. 
All right, welcome back to my house. Uh, car people, in case you're curious, built cylinder head for a Volvo B230. My uh, 400 horsepower station wagon project <laughs> that blew a head gasket, but it's all right, we'll fix it. Here's the fun part. Again, this is one of those things where I really wish you could feel how smooth it was, but overall looks pretty good. There's definitely some spots where the cloth didn't get fully wetted out, and also not real inspiring on the, it, I was concerned that one layer wasn't going to do it because it's such a thin coupler. I have a couple options though. Um, I have another one, I thought about just you can see I, I had a feeling this was going to be an issue. I might just cut this and then slit this down and cut a section out so I can kind of do a, a coupler coupler, if you will. Um, this epoxy still feels a little tacky, which is interesting. But, I mean, obviously it added some strength, but just not, not quite as much as I'd like to see in there. So, um, as much as this is an easier solution, I almost feel like adding more cloth is the ideal situation here. Thank you for tuning in to yet another Rocket Vlogs video. I hope you found this informative. It should be a quick little one that I might just throw up in the middle of the week just for uh, due diligence. If you have any requests for tutorials or how to do things specific to building high powered rockets and it's within my skill set, drop a comment. I can make quick and easy little tutorial videos like this for you guys. As you guys know, when I started this channel, my goal was always to kind of do my best to keep the hobby growing and get new people interested in it. So that's why my videos always and forever will be available for free. The ads help me out, but uh, if you want to watch them ad free or early releases and stuff, you can check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash rocket vlogs. All the people who support the channel on Patreon and channel membership names are scrolling across the screen right now. And don't forget to subscribe to the like button. Our goal is to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. And if we get that goal, I'm giving away a seven and a half inch diameter Patriot rocket kit. It'll be perfect for somebody's level three. For now, my name is Brayden. You just watch Rocket Vlogs, and I'll see you next time.